in the world, you'll start to see surprising similarities. Oh my in God, the way what is this? I've seen my abs be photoshopped. And Instagram models are not real models. Agree or disagree? Oh fuck yeah! I, I was okay with it. I use it for inspiration for myself because I'm like, I know my abs did not look like that at that time. So I'm gonna go get in the gym because they could look like that if I did a little bit of work. Wait, do they ask like everybody, or do they ask like hot Instagram models? Instagram models are real models. Three, two, one, go. What? If you're posting photos of yourself, you're feeling cute, girl, you are a model, yes. you know? I definitely think so too. If, if you're enjoying yourself what? and promoting yourself naturally and, you know, being who you want to be and making money off it most <clears throat> times, mm -hmm. then get your coin, girl. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think also the idea that something has to be monetized for it to be legitimate Ooh. is also yeah. damaging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because for a long time in my career, I was self producing things, right? Mm -hmm. And then people, people started reaching out to me, oh, do you want to book this campaign, da 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 It starts, yeah, so, it starts yeah. on an angle. Right. I definitely respect what you said, um, but it was funny because it like literally tinged at my standard. Um, <laughs> so I was actually, I started in Atlanta when I was going to college uh, doing modeling. Yes. And I remember I met this beautiful model and she was like, I didn't consider myself a model until it affected my bank accounts. Ooh. And literally that right. became my goal was mm. like, I would not call myself a model until it affected my bank account. Our Instagram models, fashion models, I would probably be way over there. Same. But our Instagram models, models, yes, sure. because whether you're modeling on top of cars or you're modeling <laughs> clothes or you just do hands or you just do shoes. I mean, give credit where credit's due. Like a lot of Instagram models are not only modeling, they are styling, they are doing their makeup, yes. they are self-producing, they are shooting. Like yes. yeah. that is a job. Big time. The thing that only frustrates me, at least because I'm not industry standards for like being a fashion model. I feel like Literally not true. I feel like she's absolutely industry standard now for plus size modeling. Like a lot of people would see me and maybe think I'm an Instagram model. And it's like, no, actually, like <laughs> I pay for my entire life with modeling. I feel like people think less of what I do or ex don't expect that I could be a professional model because of that existence of. A plus size is six a song. I've seen women her size that are famous plus size models. What the fuck are you talking about? Of Instagram models. I was just thinking of the whole industry and just paying homage and respect to folks that. If anything, you're not industry standard. Wait, what? Of course, I'm not. I'm not a model, dude. It's crazy. Of like going hard, going to casting calls that like have built their portfolio, have gotten rejection from agencies and things like that versus like someone who's just on Instagram. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but like being on Instagram posting pr pretty. I've always wondered like if you're Ashley Graham, like what do you do? If you lose weight, do people get mad at you? Like, do you lose your fucking bookings and shit? You know what I mean? I'm not alone in this, right? I feel like other people have thought about this. I know there's some plus size models who follow me. I wonder if there's like um, six sizes plus size, oh, maybe in 1990. Wait, I don't know what size six means. But I do feel like I mean, if slim models gain weight, they lose booking too. Yeah. The worst thing you can be is normal, dude. If you're like a little chunky as a as like a super skinny model, then you're fucked. Because you're in between plus and like whatever the modeling size is. If you're if you're like plus size, which is closer to normal, you lose a little bit of weight and you're like just chunky, boom, fucked. Not normal, average, you know what I mean. Shut up, English is my second language. Normal, average, same shit. pictures and then getting a bunch of likes.
I have hot take prompts, which are prompts that are submitted by our audience. Assumptions that they make about models. Models secretly judge fat people. I feel kind of liberated being a plus size model because I'm not expected to be anything I'm not. It does not mean that I haven't had my fair share of extremely fat phobic situations that I've had on. You can't bro. Literally can't lose weight. That all the you lose your job. 2000s, we grew up on tabloids when a celebrity would gain weight, especially a woman. It'd be like, oh, look at her in a bikini. Like, oh, she's gone off the rails. So I do believe probably some models do have these microaggressions, but it's also the system's fault. Yeah, it's not specific to models. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's everyone, yeah. Models encourage eating disorders. I don't think models at all encourage eating disorders. Um, I think what people- What? Okay, you guys are crazy. Like, not models themselves, but the fashion industry and the way that like marketing works absolutely encourage eating disorders, dude. Are you kidding me? I, of course, don't have one, even though I eat the same meal every day at the same time. And, uh, nothing else and i also weigh all my food but everyone else they have it because of the models people perceive that models may do in order to stay skinny um, but that's on perception and it's the perception of it that needs to change some of these models do promote is a cry for help no dude no <laughs> going down to a size zero and these agents are agencies are ex-models we used to watch tyra banks america's next top model she was extremely severely rude to those girls like takara the biggest girl on there and she was a size 12 she used to go down her throat in the specific reference that you were talking about i think that this woman was critiquing the models from her experience and what she knew the industry was she knew for this young girl who has no name is not signed you have to fit the clothes or you don't work at the time at the time i disagree that models encourage eating disorders on other people. I think that models encourage eating disorders within themselves. Oh, definitely so. I wouldn't say that they are encouraging directly, but I would say as to Naomi Campbell and Tyra Banks, how they were saying, well, if you're not gonna fit the clothes, you can't get work. So is that you should be losing weight or should the clothes be made bigger? Okay, I need to see what a size 12 is. Wait, what the fuck? Wait, this is a size 12? That's a size 12, dude? Motherfucker said size 6 is a plus size model? So size 12 is just average? Like... Yo, you guys are fucking freaks, dude. I can't believe some dude was like, size 6 is like a plus size model. Are you nuts? Size 12 is like normal average. No one laugh at 24. I gained from the pandemic kick weight. <laughs> Come on, dude. Until the early 2000s, six was plus size. No shot, dude. No fucking shot. You, you what? No shot. Anything higher than straight size is a plus size or higher than 14. Women's clothing is divided into straight and plus sizes. Here's why that's a problem. Wait, is this how women's clothing works? You guys don't have like large, extra large?
Wait. So it's literally not like small, extra small, you know, medium, large, extra large, XXL, double, uh, you know. There is both, but even the letter sizes have numerical dictate. Wait, what? Rarely does that high unless unisex. Size six is never a plus size for the dumb fuck males in the chat. It's pants and dresses that are sized like that. Wait, so, so you guys don't have waist? So you don't have like waist like, you know, like I'm a 38. You know what I mean? Like, what's your waist? Yeah, there's no shot you guys don't have waist and inseam. That doesn't make any sense. We're about to dive into the world of women's fashion and how capitalism has ruined it, exploited council people to propagate it. No. But I do like this video, though. I want to go back to the fucking models. Modeling promotes unhealthy beauty standards. Three, two, one, go. I think the LA industry for modeling is becoming a little more inclusive, but I think in the high fashion sense, um, awful. It's kind of promoted for most girls to have like an eating disorder or stick to this calorie restraint, so. Um, for me, um, we are the people and the, we as the people are society and society dictates what the industry does. Um, and I think that's the reason why it's become more inclusive of everybody. So it's important that we don't blame our industry. Whenever mom, Murad and I were driving down Sunset, we now see so many more fucking plus size models on billboards. And my mom thinks it's because everybody gained weight during COVID. So they're just marketing to people that gained weight during COVID now. You know what I mean? She's like, I suspect they have more people that look like us on those billboards because everybody gained weight during COVID. Anthem being questionable and problematic for 10 minutes. What the fuck is Anthem, dude? Streets for what they do as much as we hold ourselves accountable for what we accept. So when we spend our dollars with this industry, we're actually voting every single time. So a lot of it was prompted because we weren't seeing equal representation. So people were stopping spending their money. So they had to reorganize and recreate. And now they started being more inclusive. It's us as society that dictates what's going to be promoted. So if it's an unhealthy standard, it's coming from us, not what? the industries. I, I do think that. What is this, dude? Excess means number two, means 33.5 inches, means 85 centimeters bust. Natural waist is 26 inches. What do you have to be a fucking accountant? Let me bust out the Excel spreadsheet to understand the sizing shit for women, dude. This is disgusting. You're complaining about there's more options than we get? Yeah, that's true. Wait, why are there multiple mediums, dude? There's a medium that's an 8 and then a medium that's a 10? Wait, what? And there's a large as a 12 and a large as a 14. Jesus Christ. Wait, for the record, for uh, people who are saying like, well, sizes are different amongst brands. Yeah, I know. It's the same for men too. That, that doesn't change. That, um, the reality is we are more affected by what we see than we really 
understand. Like we internalize a lot of the things that we see. A lot of people my age are starting to get Botox and fillers and Instagram people are, are or Instagram influencers, excuse me, are um, getting a lot of uh, artificial work done to their faces to look a certain way. And I think that putting someone that is super young or that has like no wrinkles or that has like no acne in your face every single day and you see that representation every single day. When you get a flare up, you think it's not normal. Yeah. When you have a double chin, you think it's not normal. And those things are not the truth. It's not necessarily the modeling, modeling industry. I think we saw, started to see a shift when the Kardashians like exploded I because <laughs> Paris Hilton size zero, size two was like the look. And then here comes Kim and here comes the family and big butts, right? And like we went from a, a, a system of like stick thin being like the beauty standard to now like hourglass curves when so many people of other ethnicities have always had this but have been rejected for having these things. And that- Dropping for clothes, dropping for clothes ends me living, leaving in tears because everything fits badly even with an almost 100 pound A loss is probably mostly in your head. I've been there. It gets better. I mean, I've, I've had similar situations. Led us to a whole Facetune, Photoshop era where everybody wants to get a BBL and get um, breast implants and- Yeah, like Drake. Everybody wants to get a Drake, Drake style BBL and then do a CLB. Have like a cinched waist and like big butt and all of these fillers and like I don't think it's the modeling industry as a whole that's promoting that look more so social media and like these influencers and these reality show people that are like Botox and filled to like the brim. To me I'm like do what you want like I, I, have, I have no hate for anyone that wants to do what they want with their body like you have that autonomy you do you but I think the big problem that we get at and I feel like it is more problematic honestly in the social media space at times because they're claiming that everything is natural they're claiming you know oh i just worked out and i got this body and it's like that those what might seem like little white lies to them has have impacted our entire generation of these young women Bro, i feel like this girl follows me i'm not even kidding actually it's important that that we realize we have that autonomy too like i've done a photo shoot and been edited to kingdom come and like i never had a, a, an ounce of cellulite on my ass and that's just not the case and we need more people seeing those normal aspects like you said acne wrinkles like people have that you know i am okay with being photoshopped three two one go for anyone that says no is lying okay Anyone that says no is fucking lying. Like, I don't put any makeup on. I don't put any makeup on for the most part. Actually, I've had some dog shit photoshops done. Like, dog shit. But usually, if the, if the photographer and the editor, like, if they're good, why the fuck wouldn't you? Okay, dude. Like, they don't want any... F okay, dude. I mean, that's crazy. I strongly agree that I'm okay with being photoshopped. I completely agree with being photoshopped. <laughs> While I don't think it's healthy for the public image, I do this for me. I model mm. for myself, right. you know? And um, I've seen my abs be photoshopped and I, I was okay with it because I was like, it paints a really great picture. You know, I, I use it for inspiration for myself because I'm like, I know my abs did not look like that at that time. So I'm gonna go get in the gym so I can get my abs to look like that because they could look like that if I did a little bit of work. Um, so on my end, I'm completely fine with it. it. Again, it's about the client and the story they're trying to tell and it's this like, unattainable kind of guy sometimes and it's like mm. yeah um but i think it's more Holy so again it's shit. important that people realize that that's the story that's being portrayed that is this s fans home that's gigantic dude time to cancel him Yo, that's the size of my four person house canceled. Dude, that's nuts, dude. It is insane how much fucking space you can have in Texas. Oh no, 
I should have finished my sentence immediately. They're going to fucking clip it out of context again. It is literally wild how much more space you can have in a place like Texas for, you know, the same price. I mean, his house is probably way, way, way more uh, affordable. Fuck. You guys know every time I say something about houses now, he does follow you. I fucking called it. Um, yes, I knew it. There you go. Okay. I told you guys, there's like a lot of, there's like a lot of plus size models and stuff in this community. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, every time I say some shit, Yes, my hat does say abolish heist in furniture. Every time I see some shit about houses, like I'm fucking worried that people are just like waiting to clip it out of context and then blast it off like every fucking Nazi website on the planet. Texas seems way more boring compared to Cali though. It is, yeah. I think so. That's not always reality, yeah. so. I was on somewhat disagree because it feels wrong, but last week I had a shoot and I was shooting bikini and I had a zit below my butt and I was like, so like guys, can we just like Photoshop this out? Cause like it's, it's enough that my butt's on a website, but my butt with a zit, I don't, I don't know. So I hear that. I mean, like people like us are probably more likely to be airbrushed significantly more than most people. And I don't want anyone that's gonna change my body shape. If it means me being the brave one and kind of being uncomfortable with the way I look in some pictures, whether it be belly rolls or my stretch marks or my cellulite, like I think that that's a necessary evil, at least for me. In you might be more okay with it because you're a guy, big girls often get their body shrinked to cellulite erased and black girls often get their skin lightened and Afro edit features edited. You know what? I've never thought about that. I guess you're right. I feel like if you're like literally being, but yeah, like if you're being, if your identity is being taken away from you a little bit, that's like, or they're like making you into a different person. I guess that could be a little annoying, but like for me, it's, it's, I mean, they definitely like, you know, they keep shit tight and I don't mind it. I look better. Fuck it. You know, blemishes gone, even though I don't really care about blemishes in general. Like I, I don't really mind showing blemishes. In terms of like what I want to see change in this industry. That's so how you don't contribute to any activism. You suck. I got banned from ban bad bunny chat. This chat sucks because lack of activism. You're a black hole of nothing else, huh? Huh? You don't contribute to any activism. You suck. Do you know that? You know that for a fact? Oh. Oh God. Oh. Previously sub for nine months. Uh, I'm not going to ban you. I think you're really pathetic to begin with. Like. I think your existence is pretty pathetic, so have fun. No, I want you. I, I'll, I'll pay you. Industry and like see that positive impact. As what you were saying, like a zit or something, and I struggle with. I bet that person was subscribed to me for nine months until a breakup that I had with another content creator who, uh, um, who they are a much bigger fan of. I think that's probably what it is. If dark circles and stuff like that i want clear skin and that's the image i want for myself so i would be completely fine if someone touches up my dark circles or you know makes my legs longer in like a fish eye bubble lens or something you know in that sort but to take away from my stretch marks to take away from you know my stomach i don't want to perceive something that's not me because yeah. that's that's not my brand when you're on camera like how you may look to yourself or like on uh, in the mirror doesn't always translate on camera right. and then it's like wait my pores are that big or like my eyes look that sunken or and she's right on that though with the lenses getting better in the industry it's portraying us even harsher because they'll pick up like wrinkles uh, you yeah. didn't even personally see on your face and so yeah a little touch up 
kind of cool with that. <laughs> I have insecurities about my body. Three, two, one, go. I've done a lot of work on myself. Like I, I used to hate myself and I've done that work to like come on the other side and recognize that I'm beautiful. But I think the only reason I say somewhat agree is that it's impossible to be in this industry and not be hyper aware of, of the things that are, you know, that you should change or maybe should alter or like, oh, this girl's working more than I do. What is, mm -hmm. you know, like her, what's better about her body than mine. And like, and that's just in my, pure moments of weakness and not weakness but in my pure human moments yeah. let's say in the real world like if i'm walking down the street as a pedestrian right like my body is like whatever but like in our industry and what we do we think well will i book a job if i have this extra like five pounds on me you know what i mean or like would i book a job if i was a little bit taller so i think that like body image issues these people are insecure as fuck bro they're models are you fucking insane no shit. First of all, every human being is super insecure to begin with, especially about like, you know, body stuff, I think. And a big chunk of why that happens, a big part of the reason why that shit happens is literally because it's like constantly pumped into every facet. You know what I mean? Do you mind being photoshopped into a wedding photo with me? No, go ahead. Not me, bro. I'm super based. Yeah, I mean, no one loves their body. I don't know if it's like a human thing or I don't know if it's just like. New Daft tweet just dropped. Glad I'm no longer friends with this embarrassment. This got to be top 10 worst fits of all time. It hurts. You really do be your own. It's true, dude. It's true. Anyway. Son, are you insecure about your body? Oh, come on. Is that a bait question? You've been here for 10 months. Of course I am, dude. I'm, I'm super insecure about my body. Are you kidding me? I, dude, I have body dysmorphia. I used to be very fat. And I still am. But I used to be, too. <laughs> <laughs> that I already had were kind of magnified when I stepped into this. So I'm like in a great place. So I actually probably should be on like somewhat disagree. Um, again, my, my only hold back was like, I'm from the South. I like everything a little bit thicker. So including myself, <laughs> that is always a self-conscious part. I would love to put on some extra muscle one day, which I just know it comes, but I do sacrifice it for being in the industry at this time. But I completely accept it. I still think it looks good. No food after midnight. I wasn't insecure until someone started, I still started streaming and someone said my eyebrows look weird and now I can't stop thinking about what he meant. Dude, dude, Twitch is the worst place. Twitch is the worst, dude. Twitch chat is actually the worst. Twitch chat is worse than fucking getting Tyra Banks to yell at you about, like, how fucking fat you are for seven hours. Instead, you have, like, 30,000 anonymous motherfuckers in here constantly with, like, people who are constantly trying to pick apart your deepest insecurities. And if you're dumb enough to ever mention what those are, oh, my God, they will fucking end you. They will use that against you all the time forever. The worst. Um, it's not my ideal self, but it is still a self that I am happy with. So, I think I'm just I'm still going through fully accepting myself. I still think about my body and myself every day, but I'm I'm in a good place. I'm definitely better than what I used to be and more accepting. Like you know what, I am big. I am curved. And I look good, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I have the curves. Look up. Um, I have the curves. I have like the Genesis Qua, you know. Like we, I have everything that anybody else has. And for you to be confident as well, and when you know it, that confident like oozes out, yeah. right. and you can feel that when someone's energy as well. So. Right. And that is officially a wrap. Yeah. <laughs> and we wanted to gift you guys some Jubilee merch. Oh, sick. <laughs> 
I'm not talking about modeling. I think streams themes from corn subsidies and high fructose corn syrup being put into everything, but it doesn't help. America's obesity problem, and America does have an obesity problem. Don't get me fucking started on this. Fat phobia, Andes. Your head's not small. You just have no traps. That's literally false, dude. Um. But America's obesity epidemic or obesity problem is a is a multi multifaceted issue uh, with numerous different uh, villains in the story. Corn subsidies are certainly a big part of that. High fructose corn syrup certainly plays a role in that. Never seen a community more obsessed about hairlines than Twitch chat. Yeah, I don't know why. I I, I don't know what it is. I feel like Twitch chat makes everyone bald, bro. Literally false, dude. Says corn dog Colin. Okay. Okay, corn dog Colin. <laughs> 